Hey everyone, Naz here, and it's time to play Back to the Future of the game. So let's continue where we left off. I think it's time for the Expo and Doc's confrontation, or young Emmett's confrontation even, with his father. I don't know how much is left, but I had to kind of cut the last video off somewhere. Um, so we'll see how this one grabs us. Emmett, your father's down there. <clears throat> you... Don't think you can shelter him. Mm. He's gone. Emmett's gone. You just missed him. Young man, I've been sitting on the bench of Hill Valley Criminal Court for 15 years. I can smell a dissimilar a mile away. Now, are you going to turn him over, or will I have to use force? To use the force, Judge Brown. Him? Well, if you're not going to say anything. So he is up there with you. Ah, damn it. Thanks a lot. Son, I order you to come down from there this second. Go and tell him what for, Emmett. Emmett, I'm not talking to him. There's no point. Take the bullet. Just go deal with him. What have you got to lose? That's what they said to Custer. <laughs> um, he's got to give you a fair Maybe trial. A That's fair true. Chance to explain yourself. He is a judge, after all. Yes. A judge who's already passed sentence. He won't listen to me. He never has. I'll be right back. I can't take the force. Hmm. I. Oh, he's German, is he? I want to speak to my son. And Brown's not, not is it, ready is to Brown talk a to German you. name uh, directly. Oh, God. I suppose you're his mouthpiece. I guess so. Yeah. Um. Hmm. He says you won't he listen. He says it's no use talking to you. You never listen. That only shows how pig-headed he is. Of course I listen. If he can justify his craziness, I'll be only too happy to indulge it. Stay right there. Hmm. I'm not okay. going anywhere. Right, okay. Now talk to Emmett. I'm not <laughs> talking to him. There's no point. Yeah, you're gonna talk to me. You heard him. He said he'll listen to you. Well... He did say that. Shot. Nice. Father? We got the talking. Son? You've never understood the first thing about me. All you want to wow. do is step on me, squelch my natural instincts. Understand. You don't know what it's like but to be young. You, you don't know what it's You're like to have dreams, to have ambitions, so great and so powerful, but they've got a life of their own. And it's all you can do to hang on for the people until they fell apart where they must. This is America, Pop. And in America, Oh, God. Is that why you came to America? To live where there wouldn't be so many rules? Well, we talked. Are you <laughs> yeah, you certainly talked. Um, right. That didn't go so well. You gotta get out of Emmett's way. I have yet to hear a compelling or even coherent reason why. Um, it's important to Emmett. See, Your Honor, it's just that this demo is so important to Emmett. A childish kerfuffle. He'll forget all about it in two weeks' time. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. And it's, and it's not like other people. Stubborn, willful, single minded, incorrigible, and obsessed. Okay, but if you look at it from the right angle, though. That Oops. may be your angle, Sonny, but I'm not so sure it's the right one. Make no mistake. This Those guy's accent's a bit strange. That lead to trouble. He gets them from his mother. Look, Your Honor, the future. you don't see it, but there's an awful lot riding on Emmett's demonstration. All the more reason why I've got to put a stop to it. Look me in the eyes, young man. <clears throat> I expect okay. you know my son pretty well by now. Do you seriously think his exhibition is going to be a success? Ooh. Yes. Sure. Uh, sure it will. You know as well as I how it'll end. Disaster! Maybe, and maybe not, but even if it does, I mean, isn't Emmett entitled to make a few mistakes? Emmett has exceeded boom. his quota for one lifetime. Oh, My job counter is boom. Father to see to it, there are no more mistakes. Emmett's just trying to make a name for himself. Maybe things were different when you were a kid, but oh. nowadays you, you gotta take chances. What do you know about taking chances? Try moving to a strange country where you don't speak the language with only two dollars to your name. You? You bet your socks, me. And I made out all right, too. 
How'd your dad feel about it at the time? Papa, he was fit to be tied. Ah. Uh, a disobedient little. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, before we go on, folks, it's nice to see you. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Leave uh, some comments below. Tell me how you are. Hope you're all doing great. Leave tons and tons of comments. And, yeah, we're going to continue with the Back to the Future. We might even finish it today. I don't know. Um, but let's continue beating down Emmett's father. So your father didn't approve in, in a non-weird way. Well, Papa never really understood the younger generation. No. He came around a bit in the end, but by then it was too late to... Oh. And I want to listen to him. I want to listen to him. If he wants to talk. Right. Okay, Emmett. Emmett. Here to play peacemaker again, Pollyanna. I've read that book. His bark's worse than his bite. He only yells because he loves you. He says you're like your mother. Um. Hmm. Let's try okay, that one. Okay, so he's got a strong personality. Strong, strong personality. personality. I knew he would say that. Strong fathers. Why couldn't I have been born to a nice, wimpy milk toast? Yeah, well, <laughs> that's no picnic either. a milk toast? The important thing is, fathers can change. Says you. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. that Deep one. down, he's just worried about you hurting yourself. No amount of physical pain could equal the pain he's already inflicted to my spirit. Oh, wait a minute. Um, he says you're like he your mother. He says you get your stubbornness from your mother. Well, that's the limit. He's oh. not satisfied <clears throat> with insulting me. He's got to drag my mother through the dirt, too. Mother isn't at all like me. She's gentle and sweet and endlessly patient. If anything, I'm more like... Oh, skip it. Oh, gosh. What did you, you just say? You starting to say that you're like... Skip it. Can it be no. that you and your dad? No. Next subject. I'm not and skipping it, anything. Stop being a dope. You've got your pride. Okay, I, I get it. And so does he, but... What's the harm in trying to make peace with the guy? He's your family, and family's important. Sometimes it's, well, even more important than we realize. Hmm. May I come up? Yes, you may, Doc. Dr. Emmett Brown's father, so, Judge Brown. You think my new invention is a disaster waiting to happen? <clears throat> yes, yes I do. And I'm here to say... If any son of mine is going to make of himself a public disaster, I insist on being there to support him. Oh, Pop. yeah. You're Damn father issues. Once you see this baby go airborne, you see the force field generated by the static accumulator. Marty, give Trixie the signal. We're ready for liftoff. Oh, it's time to go. <clears throat> Trix, let's go. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us through that unavoidable delay. And now the Hill Valley Expo is pleased as punch Tricks, to present always, babe. Mr. Emmett Brown and his electrokinetic levitator. Here we go. Will it work? Will that stamp static accumulator be enough to uh, keep this car afloat? <clears throat> we'll find out. On the next... No, I'm joking. <laughs> Imagine I did that, you guys would be so raging. <gasps> oh shit. Oh shit! Oh my god, it works! Kind of. Oh my god. Wasn't it supposed to fail? There's Doc and... Oh god. I can't believe the car worked. Wasn't that expo supposed to... His... Wait, I think he just crashed. But I think it worked. I mean, that's positive, right? That's definitely a car of the future. Oh god. Oh god! Is that Edna? In the back... Oh my... She can't be in that. Doc, what have you done? He's going to start fading away now, isn't he? Maybe. He might. Because Doc just did the science experiment, so maybe fade away. Forget about it. Come on. we got to find a way to stop her before... No, don't come any I knew it! Doc! Go away! He's fading, because Doc's future's changed. Move. Move. And he's gone. No, oh, you know he got hit. But he is going to just disappear anyway. It's not a big deal. 
We need to get after that DeLorean. Oh my god, Doc! Say something. Goodbye, Marty. Chromium, lithium, potassium, iridium, titanium. What? I'll get, I'll get help. Newspaper. Newspaper? What? You mean? Oh, the one I've still got. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna get you to a hospital, Doc. You're gonna be okay. Pretty sure the headlines changed there. <clears throat> yes. Oh, I think I am going to be okay. There he goes. No, come on, Doc. Doc, don't do this. Don't go. See you later, Doc. Timelines have merged. Doc is no more. Doc, come back. Come on, Mario, you know this. You've been through three movies already. And that'll be the experiment failing. So that's good. So yeah, that went as, you know, according to plan. <clears throat> Doc? Yes, damn it. <laughs> He's got the hair. Marty, have you been out here the whole time? Damn it. Um, is it over already? Oh, it's over, all right. You missed a very <laughs> wild party. I'm afraid I've been banned from the expo for the next 50 years. Oh, God. If I were you, I wouldn't go back in either. At least not until all the broken glass is swept up. Oh, what was I thinking? Naturally, the ionic wind generated by an electromagnet of that size is... There he is. Havoc ...with a merely mechanical steering mechanism. We need a much more advanced control system. I wonder if we could find a way to translate the body's own gravitational field into electrokinetic force, one might be able to direct that yeah. ionic current simply by shifting one's weight. Oh, great, Scott, that's it! Um, what about your father, yeah? What about your father? Is he in there? He's dead. Oh. Yes, I suppose I should wait for him to finish dealing with the officials. I can't say he was exactly thrilled with the unexpected turn my demonstration took. But you heard him in there. He understands that a life of science has its ups and downs. The way I see it, it's those mm -hmm. little mistakes along the way that advance us along the pathway of knowledge. Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's get back to the lab and... I'm sorry, is something wrong? Mm, yes. It's a long story. Let's just say I, uh, I lost somebody. Yeah. Oh, how sad. Anyone I know? Um. Yeah, Carl was, Sagan. Uh, Carl Sagan. What? The guy who tried to hire me in there? You were friends with him? Strange. But how? Don't worry about it. It's got nothing to do with you. Well, actually. What? You're a complete mystery to me, Marty. Where you come from, what you're doing here. But there's one thing I do know. Whatever it is, it does have something to do with me. That's true. Please, Emmett, don't ask What's any. What's this? Oh. Come on, let me see. I deserve an explanation. Okay, here goes. Okay, here goes. <laughs> Is that the date? What's that? An explanation. But you've got to promise me. Don't look at it until you get the key to the city. Huh? Emmett! Just promise. Emmett, where are you, my son? I'll be right there, Pop. Key to the city? I don't understand. And you can't yeah. understand. Not That's what the article time. said on the front of it. Do irreparable damage to something. Just, just say you promise. Okay, I promise. Aha! There you go. Is Doc gonna show up now Wait, in his time machine? I will see you again, right? That'd be awesome. Guarantee it. Why don't you stop Edna? She's still driving away in the goddamn DeLorean. What part did he give of the newspaper one? I wonder if it's a date. Ah, there we are. I knew it. 
Yes! So he read the note and came back to get me. Covered in ice as usual. Hey, it worked. Ah, oh, there he is. There's the man. Ah, oh, it's been so long, Doc. So you were the same Marty. Funny how memory can play tricks on a person. I remembered you being much taller. <laughs> how was the ceremony? Long. You've got a theatrical way of sending messages. Yeah. Only way I could do it without messing up your timeline. Very clever. But what are you doing in 1931? Um, hmm. I'm going to say rescue. rescue. you. Teenage me? Yeah. No, you, you. But then oh, yeah, that's right. you got mixed up in it. See, you were in jail and... Never mind. It's better I don't know. Let's just get back to 1986. That is, unless your presence has caused any other time anomalies. Actually, me? yeah. <laughs> no. We need to get well, Edna. I'm still a little confused about my... Um... Where is he? Where is that no good son of mine? He's not worthy of the McFly name. That... Oh my god, that's... You seen my Artie anywhere? Artie oh my god, that's... McFly? That's the one. Michael J. Fox. I got a call from Melvin at the city records office. He tells me the dad blamed fool's gone and got himself hitched to a Canadian floozy. Can you believe it? Hitched? Mary. Oh, they're getting married. That's how that's, that's how they got around the rule. So that's how she got her job back. Ah, he, he's married the wrong grandma. I mean, Trixie's not Wait. my grandma. And if she's not my grandma, I'm not me. Wait, that was great grandpa Willie. I met him when he was a baby. He peed on me. That's right. <laughs> Second movie, I Holy think, right? Crap. Uh, Doc, I'm gonna disappear again. Calm down, Marty. You seem reasonably solid right now. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can undo it. With the help I like your calmness, car. Doc. Oh, great. Scott. How the hell did she get back here? Edna? Oh, she? God. Where's she taking you? the car? You're not Edna. Yeah, What's well done, Parker. What's going on here? Is this some plot to put me in the nut house? No, it's all very simple, Danny. Oh, I'm sure it is. Tell me, did I or did I not just chase Edna Strickland off in this car? Not this exact car, but a car just like it. A car with a nasty habit of disappearing into uh, thin oh air? Oh god, Edna didn't well, disappear, did she? Edna Strickland just disappeared in the DeLorean? If that's what you call it, it made a loud noise. Oh then, no. Uh, nothing! Great Scott! Marty, Look at Doc's time. Do Amazing. Notion what date she might have jumped to? None at all, Doc. See, that DeLorean's time circuits are out of whack. They could jump to any date at all. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Let's just hope she jumped into the future. The far future. If she's jumped into the past... Yeah, we don't want that. Think she might mess up the time stream? Wait a minute. This is Edna. Of course she would mess up the time stream. Uh, guys, you mind telling me what the hell you're... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, n oh my God, Edna. <clears throat> this is not good. Doc? This is seriously not good. Did we just leave Hill Valley? No, I believe Hill Valley just left us. How? Something must have happened to it. A long time ago. What would she have had to do to make that happen? That's there's Willie. Willie McFly. He's well, Phil. Now you two look at my lost. Hey, what on earth is that thing? Oh, it's a, it's an experimental vehicle. Pay it no mind. That's Michael J. Fox. Well, maybe you can help us. Um looking for Hill Valley. Well, which is it? A hill or a valley? No, it's a town. It's a town <laughs> Good point. Hill Valley. Hill Valley a town? Say, I, I think I once heard that there was a town here a long time ago. Don't know much about it, though. Just as I suspected. <sighs> um, 
When did Hill Valley go away? When did Hill Valley go away? Oh, heck, I don't know. That was all before I was born. Then, whatever wow, was, before he was born. Happened at least 45 years ago. That's before even the second movie. Nobody much cares to say here nowadays. My dad tried to buy a farm in this area years ago, but he got run off by Scary Mary. Scary Mary? Well, that's what we all call her. Lives a couple miles from here. I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Oh. All the papers in the county never throws one away. Say, if there's anybody who could tell you what happened to Hill Valley, it's her. Can you direct That's Edna. To her? That is Edna. Imperative that we talk to her. Sorry, fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. Um. Can you make Could her you talk? help us with her? The thing of it is, guys, Mary's older than dirt, but she's also a little touched, if you catch my drift. Touched. She doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can handle her. We'll be very polite. Please, we gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile on foot. Good luck, and don't say I didn't warn you. Well, okay then. I got the notion I'll be chicken myself for sending you up there. Right. <clears throat> Off to visit Edna, it seems. I wonder if that's the last we'll hear of Michael J. Fox. That was Michael J. Fox's cameo. I drive? He may be back though. We shall see. Beware of cat. Mary Pickford. Hmm. That's the DeLorean. Yep. There's all the pieces of it hanging up. Not a very pleasant uh, place to be. Oh, here we go. Find out what happened to Hill Valley. Well, I could just knock on the door and find out. Wait. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Step away from the cabin! <gasps> Pardon us for intruding, madam. We were wondering if you could tell us. I don't talk to hooligans! Oh my very god, very she short. is scary. That, that was Edna. Edna Strick. Impossible. This is how she was when I first met her. I had to listen, just leave it to me. Okay. What did I have to do? You know how to handle her. Just remember we need to know what happened to Hill Valley and just as importantly the precise time when it happened. What, what did I have to do to get in her house? Was it like I had a shoe or something? Wait, I've still got a recording device, that's weird. And expo tickets. A short photo of George McFly. Let's let's show No. Wait, there's a photo in the window, look. Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. It's hmm. the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment way back in the future. So he's still normal. Are we going to go into the past? Oh my god, I think we are, you know. Let's mop. I'm guessing this mop doesn't get much use. Oh. Wait. Clay oven, an outhouse. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what. I, I don't know why I looked in there. How God, how long has it been since Marty went to the bathroom as well? I don't think we've ever seen that. I think Marty's been holding it for like I don't know, a couple of years now, like literally, because he's been going back and forth. I wonder in time. what's cooking. Yeah, what is cooking in there, Marty? What is that? A burning stick. Um, what can I set fire to? The outhouse. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. Ouch! Jesus. Right, so I've, I can get a, I can get that for some reason. Mailbox was in there. Mary Pickford. Now, where would she pick up a fake name like that? Hmm. Good question. Good, very, very good question. A cactus. Huck. Oh. It's a. <laughs> What? Why did she not like that? Tripwire. Oh Jesus. It's very noisy. That's very noisy. Hey, Mr. Who are you? Um, 
Apparently, I'm going to say Yakov uh, Smirnov. Yakov Smirnov? That's a foolish name. And I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names. But we're not strangers. How do I know you? Um... I saved your I life saved once. your life once, a long time ago, remember? Kid Tannen had you tied up. Listen, Sonny, I'm an easygoing woman, but I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is, I never, mm. ever talk about the past! Oh, Nor Jesus. the future, neither. I don't talk about any day but today. I guess well, that didn't go so well. she is an oh, absolute she treat. Because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're going to pry it out of her. Go ahead. Knock on the door again. Now let's try knocking on the door again. Wait. Oh, I stepped over it. Boom, boom. What? It's me again. Your old friend. How do I know you? Um, all right. We spent today we together. We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th, 1931. Ah, I like this. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? Um, I brought something. F well, I don't have it for. Her. What do I have for? Her? You stole the you DeLorean. See that car over there? You stole that from from Carl Sagan, and you you time jumped into the past. Me? Uh oh. Steal a car? You got a lot of nerve, Sonny. Everyone in town knows that Mary Pickford's the most law-abiding citizen that Hill Valley's ever crazy. had. she's crazy. Then I don't give up. Think about the past. Um. I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. What can I give her? Oh god, what can I give her, guys? All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. 28 minutes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, comment section below. What should I give her? You know, what is there to give her? Uh, I. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe a burned out. Maybe that stick. That burning stick. Maybe a cactus. Um, I don't know. Or maybe I could reach in and get that. I don't know. Maybe I can get in through the window or something. I don't know. Tell me in the comment section below. I will read them all. Oh, a saloon sign. Maybe I can give her that. Ah, maybe I can give her the saloon sign. Maybe. We'll see. Got all day. Oh. oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. She took a double take at Doc there. Yeah, she recognises him, I think. Right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Nazi. You've been fantastic. In the comment section, leave as many comments as you'd like. And please click like on the video and drop um, a comment. That's what I was going to say. I got that in the wrong order. And, of course, you can add it to favourites and send a... Um, what was I going to say? You can add to favourites. What do I usually say? Drop a comment. Click like, drop a cut, add to favourites, or you can share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Wow, I'm at the game today. I need a cup of tea. Anyway, I'll catch you all later. I've been Nazi. You've been fantastic. Back to the future. Ho! Oh. This is my outro song, so that the vid doesn't end too who suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you beautiful people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Oh god, bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well that's your opinion, I guess.